what system of linear equations is represented by the line shown. Okay, so we have two lines and we need to find their equations. And looking at the answer choices, it seems like we need to write these equations in standard form. So you can express linear equations in the form y equals mx plus b. And to convert it to standard form, you would just move the mx to the other side and leave the constant that's b on the right side, like these equations here. So first, let's find them in y equals mx plus b format, since that's a little easier. So let's do line 1 first. So to find m, which is the slope, we need to find the change in y over the change in x, it's also known as the rise over the run. So let's just take two points on this line. So we'll take that point there. I'm just looking at where the line intersects, like these corners of the grid lines. And we'll take here this point here on the x-axis. So the coordinates of this point are 3, 4, and the coordinates of this point are 8, 0. So these are x, y coordinates. So we just need to find the change in y over the change in x between these two points. So we'll use this point first. So the value of y is 4. And we'll subtract the value of y in the second coordinate, which is 0. And then we'll take the x value, 3, and subtract the second x value, 8. And so 4 minus 0 is 4. And 3 minus 8 is negative 5. So the slope is negative 4 fifths. Then the value of b, we can just plug in a point to solve for the value of b. So right now our equation looks like this. y equals negative 4 fifths x plus b. So we can just plug in a value for x and y. That is on the line to solve for b. So let's just use um, 3, 4. So y equals 4 and x equals 3 plus b. So 4 fifths times 3, that's just equal to negative 12 fifths, and then we add b. And then we can move this 12 fifths to the other side. So we have 4 plus 12 fifths equals b. So to add these together, we can convert this 4 into 20 over 5. So then our equation becomes 20 plus 12, which is 32 over 5 equals b. So b equals 32 over 5. So the final equation for equation 1 is y equals mx. And we solve the value of m to be negative 4 over 5. So negative 4 fifths x plus 32 over 5b. So this is y equals mx plus b equation for line 1. Now let's do the same thing for line 2. So for line 2, we can solve for the slope and do the same thing. We're just going to do the rise over the run like we did here. So we'll choose two points. So we can choose this point here. This point is at 3, 2. And we'll choose this point here again. So We'll just do the change in y, which is 2 minus 0, and the change in x, which is 3 minus 8. This is just equal to 2 over 5, or negative 5. So that's the slope. And then we can do the same thing again, where we plug in a point into the equation to solve for the value of b since we can just plug in an xy coordinate into the values of x and y. So let's just plug in 3, 2. So y equals 2. 
and x equals 3. And we'll solve for the value of b. So then 2 equals negative 6 over 5 plus b. We'll move it to the other side. 2 plus 6 over 5 equals b. So then we can change this 2 into a 10 over 5. So then 10 fifths plus 6 fifths is 16 fifths. So that's the value of b. So now the equation for equation two, line 2 in y equals mx plus b format is y equals negative 2 fifths x plus 16 fifths. And we can do a quick check in both of our lines. So we have line 1 over here. I'll just box it. Oh, we don't, I don't know why this b is here. This is just supposed to be a constant. And then we have equation 2 here. So the slope of both is negative, and that's correct because our lines are facing in this direction, so their slopes are negative. And they have positive y-intercepts, and that's true. They intersect at positive in the positive y-axis. So now we just need to convert these equations into the standard form. So the first equation, equation 1, what we can do is multiply the whole equation by 5. So we'll have 5. In fact, we can just go delete some of this. Since we have the two equations. So we can put some more space here. Oh. Whoops, deleted too much. Okay, so in the first equation, we'll just multiply everything by 5. So that'll have 5y on the left, and then 5 times negative 4 fifths. The 5s will cancel out, so we'll just be left with negative 4x, and just 32 here since the 5 cancels out. This is for equation 1. And then we want to move this 4x to the other side. So we'll be left with 5y plus 4x plus 32, uh, equals 32. And then what we can do in order for this to look like one of these equations here, we can multiply both sides by negative 2. So if we do that, we'll get negative 8x, negative 2 times 4x, minus 10y equals negative 64. And this looks like, for example, this equation here in D. So we can just multiply by negative 2. And then similarly for equation 2. We can multiply both sides by 5, so we get 5y equals negative 2x plus 16. And then we move this negative 2x to the other side, so we'll be left with 5y plus 2x equals 16. And then to get this 32 and the and the 10y and the 4x, we can multiply this equation by 2. So we'll get 4x plus 10y equals 32. So this one here, this equation looks like this one in answer choice D. And this one up here is equivalent to this one down here. So these two equations are the equations of these two lines, and D is the right answer.